Morning everybody, I'm Luke Sullivan with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're about 30 minutes north of Denver, easy to find, just off of Interstate 25 on the frontage road. Today behind me I've got a 2024 North Star three horse slant load bumper pull. Um, really well outfitted trailer, kind of stands apart from the rest, got a charcoal finish on it. Before we get started on the trailer, let's take a quick look at the drawing. Just kind of go over some basics of it. It's uh, just a touch over 3,300 pounds empty. Uh, very easily towable with your half ton trucks or your larger SUVs. Obviously you need to know your specs and uh, look up your manufacturer specifications on your truck. But uh, it's a lightweight trailer, easy to get around. And seven foot one tall, six foot 10 wide, standard measurements for most Cimarron's. Uh, Starting up front here at our bumper pool. Standard two and five sixteenths inch ball. Uh, manual crank jack. Uh, our shop is very capable and able and outfitted to equip this with an electric jack. Uh, if you're just not able to or don't want to bother, we can make life a lot easier hooking and unhooking with, uh, with an electric jack. Um, standard safety chains, uh, really cool new feature that a lot of uh, Cimarron's using, uh, kind of a curly cued um, safety emergency brake cable, just kind of keeps the old cable from getting tangled up and everything. My favorite part, and it's just a really small little detail that Cimarron does, is put that little holder for your seven pin connection there. Great way to keep it out of the mud, great way to keep it out of the snow and ice, great way to ensure that you've got a good connection whenever you're hooked up to your truck and trailer. Make sure all your lights are working, make sure your brake, brakes are working just the way they should. So moving around, going over to our tack room, uh, this trailer has an RTG package, ready to go package. One of the options that that uh, gives you is an oversized tack room door. Uh, an oversized tack room door does a lot of things for you. With this particular case, we've got a swing out saddle rack and it gives you a lot of extra room there between the door frame, especially if you've got your big Western saddles on there, you've got some big long saddle pads on the top. It also enables you while this is swung out and you're tacking up horses and loading saddles on and off of this, that you can get in and out of the tack room without having to swing this in or out. Uh, just gives you that extra bit of room, makes getting in and out of the tack room a lot easier. Uh, same with the step. Uh, a lot of these trailers come standard with just the running boards front to back. Uh, we stopped the running board there just before the tack room and added this fold down step. It's on a little gas shock, so it's kind of an easy close, easy fold open option. Won't slam up on you and ding anything. Um, really just kind of lowers that uh, step up height. So if you've got kids with you, uh, if you've got bad knees, um, just makes getting in and out of there a lot, a lot easier. Stepping on inside, we'll swing this back in. Straight away you'll see rubber floor mats on the floor. I think these are a really great option. I know in my personal trailers I've ripped out carpet. Uh, it just holds a lot of stains, holds a lot of smells. The rubber mats you can pull out, rinse them off. If you're not doing that you can sweep it out. You can come in here with an electric blower and blow it out. Uh, just I think way superior to carpet. Uh, moving on past the rubber mats, you can see we've got a full size matching spare aluminum wheel, six spoke, just like what we've got on the trailer itself. Uh, great way to work it into your tire rotation program, or if you do have a flatter blowout and you're not going to be rocking a mismatched spare, you won't have a steel wheel hanging out there with your aluminums. Um, moving past the spare up high, we've got a close, um, close bar. Great spot to keep your show coats, your show shirts, if they're nice and pressed and clean, kind of keeps them out of the way of the saddle. They're not rubbing up against hairy saddle pads. Great way to keep them out of your truck and organized. Moving over here. This is a new kind of style that I'm just now seeing myself. Um, bridle racks from Cimarron. They're a lot deeper off the wall. If you want to hang a hose, if you want to hang electrical cords, if you want to hang your typical bridles and uh, halters and lead ropes, great spot for them. Very tall hooks, so stuff's not going to come falling off of there when you're bouncing down the road. Uh, a neat little feature that's uh, uh, definitely, I think, a Cimarron staple now is the carpet on the wall as well. Uh, any of you that have got an aluminum trailer and have hung a bridle with a bit, on a rack knows that you've got the 
half moon shaped marks from all of your metal contacting that and it just kind of makes things look a little grungy. This is a great way to stop that. It's also a really good sound deadener. Uh, horses on the other side of this, they're not hearing that metal bang as you're bouncing down the road. And obviously we're building horse trailers here and we're building horse trailers, safe horse trailers. So uh, just kind of the little steps like that that make the difference in the Cimarron's. Uh, kind of coming around to the side in the back corner, we've always got this kind of wasted space of um, wasted space. And we found a good way with High Country. They've built these 25 gallon water tanks for us. Um, if you're traveling down the road, making a road trip across the country or, or just a few hours down the road to go to a friend's, great way to, to water your horses at a truck stop or a gas station. Uh, if you're going to a show and it's early in the season like it is now and they haven't turned their water on yet, a uh, great way and really convenient way to have water straight at your horses at the trailer. Uh, moving outside. Straight away you will notice, let's close this up, it'll look a little nicer. This trailer's not white. This trailer is outfitted with an optional charcoal color. I think it really sets it apart. Um, just kind of breaks the mold of the typical white sheeted trailer. Uh, really nice clean look to it. Look along the top, you've got your bus window in the tack room door. You've got an 18 inch awning light that'll light up. You've got three tow hooks or tie hooks for your horses along the side. That'll light them up if you need to tack or untack or, or cool them out before you head home after a long trail ride. Next you'll see we've got these very stout and large drop windows. These are on both the head side and the butt side. And if you're in a hot climate, a humid climate, there is nothing like getting some airflow with these things. They are serious. You can see the amount of open space you've got. Uh, they do have bus windows in them. So if it's winter time and you want to control that heat a little bit more, they're easily slammed shut. Very, very solid unit. I like those a lot. Uh, if we move down, we're riding on Goodyear tires, uh, top notch, 10 plies. We're 5,200 pound Dexter torsion axles with electric brakes. So if you are hooking up to an SUV or a small pickup, 90% of those, that's probably a bad number to put out. But majority of those now are coming from the factory with integrated brake controllers. If you don't have an integrated brake controller, our shop can help you out and we can fit you with an after one, but you have to have a way to control those brakes. Moving back, we'll keep shutting these up so you get a nice look at the side of this trailer. Just another shot of it. I think it's a really slick looking unit. We'll come around to the back. This trailer is equipped with a ramp over the rear doors. So a lot of trailers you'll see will have a ramp that is the back door and there would be Dutch doors above that. I think it's a neat little safety feature if you're hauling uh, a, a spicy horse in the back stall and you wanna be able to sneak in past the door and not drop a whole ramp to get in. I think it's a really neat way and safe way to get in and out of the trailer. Um, if you don't like the ramp, our shop can take it off for you. We can put a big bumper on the back of there. And if you like the step ups, I also like the ramp. It adds a bit of versatility to these trailers. If you have a mower that needs to go in for service, if you have, um, a couple quads that you want to go trail riding with one day, you can easily ride those right up in here too. You'll notice above full DOT lighting. And we also have another load light above that. Um, again, just like all the LED load lights and floodlights inside and outside of this trailer, they really light up the night. They make so much easier. It's a lot better than the old style spotlights that used to just put one big spot on the ramp. Instead, it's a bit more of a floodlight and kind of eases that loading process a lot more. We'll come inside. You'll notice on the floor right away, rubber floors. Cimarron has the best floor in the industry. Their cross members are four inches on center. So 
unless you've got Fergie the mini pony. They're always standing on a cross member. Um, this is outfitted with rubber mats. We have uh, a worm flooring installer here in Colorado if you like the worm flooring. The worm flooring is an impenetrable rubber flooring that is, um, it, it takes all the maintenance. It's an aluminum floor, gone are the days in the Cimarron's at least of the wood floors where you have to check them once every couple months for rot or breaks or splinters. Um, the aluminum floor still requires a bit of maintenance. You need to check on it once in a while. It can still corrode, especially uh, with horse urine. It's very acidic and very corrosive, even to the aluminum. So the warm flooring, if you like that option, it, is, it makes these floors completely maintenance-free. Um, we can have it done at the factory if you order something through Cimarron. Uh, again, like I said, we have a source and uh, a vendor here in Colorado that'll do it for us as well. So. Uh, if this trailer checks every box for you except for the worm flooring, we can take care of that for you. So coming on up a little bit, Cimarron, another one of their um, really cool features is everything is either, it's everything's slam latch or one-handed operation or both. Slam latch really just means one finger can close it just like that. I don't have to have two hands to put a pin in this and hold a horse's butt here that wants to back back out. Again, one-handed operation, and these are spring-loaded. We're leaning a little bit that way, and these still want to pull over all the way to the side. Added a little bit of length in this trailer so that this closes flush without having to have it be either telescoping or collapsible. Full stud gate on the first stall, one-handed again. Full heavier stud gate on that and the spring still wants to pull it all the way over to the driver's side. Two big Opti lights. Again, you turn night into day in this trailer. Also have three roof vents. They're two-way roof vents. So in the summertime, if they're really hot and you're moving down the road, you can face them forward, open them forward. They're gonna catch a lot of air and bring a lot of air in here. So if you've got all your butt windows open, all your head windows open and those going in there. You've got a little wind tunnel going in here and it's, uh, it's going to be a really pleasant environment for your horses, especially in a smaller trailer like this with three horses. You've got three big bodies putting off a lot of heat. So if you can keep that air moving, that much the better. The two-way version, the two-way aspect of it really helps in the winter. You can reverse how they're opened. You can suck the air out of there. And I've hauled a lot of horses in the winter in the cold and the more horses you get inside a trailer, it gets nice and toasty in here, but you'll notice right away the steam and the condensation really starts to build on the roof of these trailers. Now, while we're talking about the roof and the roof fence, the coolest feature about these Cimarron's is completely standard on every model is an insulated roof. Not only is it insulated, it's pretty strong. You can go up there and walk on it. Gone are the days of kind of finding the cross members of the aluminum roof and having to walk across those if you're doing any kind of work, inspection or resealing. Um, they had, before my time here, they had a hailstorm last year and they said every aluminum sheeted roof here was damaged and was on an insurance claim. The Cimarron's with the insulated roof, untouched. There were a few with the hay pods and some hay racks and stuff like that and generator um, covers that were affected. But otherwise, everything was almost good to go to send down the road, which is, uh, speaks very highly and it's a very thin material. Close these back up. We did just go with a strap for the final horse. Making a bar this wide is gonna be pretty awkward. Probably a little bit of a safety concern too. Now we're coming over to the driver's side. Same deal. We've got three drop windows on the driver's side, on the head side. The one main difference between the head side windows and the butt side windows is we have jail bars on all of them. Obviously, you don't want your horse's head sticking out going 60 miles an hour down the interstate. These jail bars very easily come down. No hardware, no latches whatsoever. Just a little groove they pop in and out of, just like that. So if you are stopped at a gas station, you want to throw water over the side to them, 
We have hooks that I failed to show you while we were inside from Andrews, if you like those. Uh, very easy way just to pop that jail bar down, get into your hay manger, throw them a little feed, throw them a little hay, offer them some water. You'll notice above those, we've got another awning light on this side. More tie hooks, um, just a little bit of versatility. If you've got two horses on one side that are buddies and one that doesn't want to get along with the rest, you can tie them over here and you've still got the same amount of light on both sides. Again, with the slam latch theory, it's literally give them a good close. Nice look at the side of this trailer. We do have an escape door. Um, there's a couple added bonuses with the escape door. If you choose to use your stud divider as kind of more a storage area, it's a great way to do it. You do have a chest bar there in front of them. And this is a great way to access this area. Now, because this is horse area, obviously we have a normal tack room latch, but we also have a fold over latch to kind of a, a extra safety measure just so a horse can't start nosing away at that and pop it open. Everything on the trailer, every door, every window, the ramps is locked, is lockable, and it's on the same key. It's a universal key for this trailer. will work every single latch you see on the trailer. Um, don't have to carry around a pile of keys for six different head and drop windows for two tack rooms and a, a tailgate as well. So a uh, really nice way to keep things secure and um, get you one more good look at the charcoal on this one. I like it a lot. I think it stands out from the typical white. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My name's Luke Sullivan. Transwest Truck Trailer RV. You can give me a shout on my cell phone, 859-509-1282. And before I forget, let's get you a stock number, 5N240093. Thanks very much.